I'm Jansen. I'm Micah. And today we've got an awesome lineup of uh, products from Classic Culture, that's with a K, Lifestyle. Greg Hughes uh, sent us out some awesome products. We've yeah. got beard balms. And beard oils. So Greg has a really interesting story. From 2003 to 2008, he was actually in the military, so he couldn't grow a beard. Mm -hmm. And then once he left the military, he got a job at a nuclear plant. <laughs> And he couldn't grow a beard again because he had to wear a gas mask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so he talked about his frustration of wanting to grow a beard. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think the job dried up or something. He's like, I'm going to go out on my own, right? right? I'll, yeah. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to start my own co company making beard products. And so he started uh, Classic Culture with a K Lifestyle. He sent us all of these samples at no cost. We just want to make sure we're always up front with your subscribers in the audience to know that when we get beard products to try and review, that has no bearing on no. how the actual review comes out. And we did say that to him. Yeah. We said, look, if your product sucks, if it's crap, we're going to say it yep. sucks. Yep. So I'd like to actually start off with his comb. Yeah, let's do it. His comb is by far my favorite comb I've ever used. Uh, Much different than your classic plastic yes. comb too. So this is a wooden comb versus a plastic. Versus plastic. Um, I love the shape, like the way you hold it is really nice. It slides through the beard really nicely. Uh, I don't get snarls. It doesn't tug at my beard. It just flows really nice. So I love it for that. And my experience with with the with the wooden comb, just basically any wooden comb is sometimes I do get some pulls. Now, again, this goes back to how our beards are, are drastically different. Yeah. Mike is a little bit straighter in the way that his hair grows. My hair tends to be more curly, and so it can catch sometimes. That's but true. I've noticed That's if really you've true. got a good lubrication or a good amount of product in there that you can work in, it's fine. But I think it just takes the time, because these come, um, I wouldn't say rough, but they've got, they've got some edges on them that I think, you know, given enough time that they're going to round out and you're really going to get a nice spread. Um, I, like, I like the size of the comb, but I'm still um, a big fan of the Kent big brush, just, just for my beard. Just with the plastic, I feel like it glides a little bit better. There isn't as much, like, I guess there's like a break-in period for the wooden type combs that I found. Oh, really? Yeah, like, you got to get enough of it, oh, like, Oh, because the oil down. breaks into it. Yeah, like, okay. the, the oil gets into it. That's and then interesting. Eventually, but maybe it's just because I'm a little bit impatient with it, and I just, like, like the plastic's <laughs> already around it. But either way, I could see this working great. Um, once you really work in. That's a, well, see, th what I typically do is I, when I get out of the shower, I use this to kind of dry my beard. I just oh, take this okay. through. And then when I put the product in, this is like my first pass. And then this is like my fine tune pass where it kind of really work it in with the Kent. This one I, I like a lot better. It just, it's much nicer, especially for a longer beard for me. Again, my mm -hmm. beard's a little straighter than Jansen. So if you have a curly beard, it may not be the comb for you. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's move on to beard balms. We got two scents or flavors, if you will. We got sweet tobacco and a uh, citrus, citrus smell. Yeah. Um, the sweet tobacco scent, Greg, is awesome. Nailed it. Love it. It's so great. It is. It is just awesome. It now smells it's, now great. It's, it's interesting to me that the sweet to the sweet tobacco is actually a lot stronger in the oil than it is in the balm. It. For yeah, me. Yeah. Uh, and that might just be my senses, but yeah, yeah, yeah. for me, the oil, like you put it in and it's just like, oh, so nice. It's, okay. it's fantastic. Now tell us about the citrus. <laughs> okay. So the citrus isn't my favorite smell. Uh, when I put the citrus in, I was like, man, what does that smell? Like, it's, it's interesting. Like, yes, it's citrusy. And then it hit me. One day I was eating uh, Fruit Loops in the morning, and I was like, oh my word, this is the smell of the beard balm. Yeah, and yeah. The beard, like, this is the citrus. Yeah. It's Fruit Loops. Like it makes your beard smell like Fruit Loops. Okay, and here's the thing: Micah doesn't like the uh -uh. smell of Fruit Loops in his no. beard as much. I love Fruit Loops. <laughs> Fruit Loops is like my freaking favorite cereal ever. Like I have memories being at like Disneyland. No, excuse me, Disney World. Disney World. As like a three-year-old. Wow. So eating like my first bowl of Fruit Loops and like wanting more. Now let's get into the actual balm itself. Yes. Now Greg and I, we, we went back uh, and forth a little bit on Facebook, had a couple questions about the balm and the consistency of the product. Now when we look and compare it to some of the other products that we've tried, we notice that there's a little bit of uh, like, they're like pellets. It's, it's like beading. It's yeah. like beading a little bit. It's, and I'm not sure if 
in transit these melted or something happened, but there is a little bit of a, of a beating that happens. Now, I will say this. Generally, all of the best beard care products out there are natural. Yes. That's what we want. We don't want a lot of petroleum-based or petroleum distillates or sodium lauryl sulfate detergent <laughs> type weird crap that exactly. gets in there. What so like this is a natural product, so I get it. Just something to be aware of is the products are gonna vary from batch to batch. So. Typically when I, when I do beard balms, I just kind of stick it in my fingers because I like to get it worked into my fingers. And that way when you put it into your beard, it kind of works into the beard mm. a lot easier. Just get, yeah, just, just get in there. Get, gets all up get in those there. hands anyway, manly again. But with this one, I wasn't able to get the beads out. So I'd have these little beads in my beard and it was like these little like, I uh, bedazzled my beard with yeah, beard balm. Just not, a bit. And I notice it sometimes because I'd be like, hey, Micah, like, what, you got what something you, in your like, beard. What's going on there? Yeah. I get it in my fingertips and then if I notice like that there's a product that needs a little bit more, I'll put it in my palm and really melt it down and then put it in. On days that I'm in a rush, I'll, I'll, I'll still do like the fingertip technique, but then I'll get a hair dryer. Yes, again, sounds womanly, but it works. It's a, it's a hair dryer. You need I, to heat your hair up and like that'll melt it and then I brush it out and it looks great. And then you can actually like set it with like, if you put your hair dryer in cool, it'll actually help set and, and form your beard to make it stay a little bit more consistent throughout the day. So that was that was my biggest complaint. Other yeah. than the smell of the citrus wasn't my favorite. My other biggest complaint was working it. It just, it took a lot. Like I haven't had any other product, mm -hmm. beard balms thus far, that have had to work that hard yeah. to get it into my beard. So that was really frustrating. And I'm not a really a beard balm type guy. Like, I don't like beard balms that much, honestly. I, and I am. It took me a while to start using uh, the classic culture uh, lifestyle beard oils. Because generally for my beard, I like the hold that a balm gives me. Because again, I've got really curly beard hair, so I need something that really yeah. helps it like... That makes sense. Like, form to my face. If not, I just look like... <laughs> Like a uh, poofy a porcupine, porcupine or something. Yeah, like, yeah. It's nasty. It's all <laughs> over the place. So I like, I like the extra hold. For you, that makes sense. It yeah. gives you the hold. But for me, it just makes my beard feel a little waxy. So yeah, that, that was yeah. the only thing I wanted to bring up was, beard balms. The reason I don't like them is they make my beard feel waxy. I like oils much better because it doesn't do that. So I, I actually started with the oils. Jansen started with the balms. Once I started using beard oils, I was like, I don't ever want to use beard balms again. <laughs> I love them. Uh, his oils are great. I like the eyedropper. Yeah, uh, at first nice. it kind of bugged me, but then I was like, actually, like if you just push it down all the way up, you get the perfect amount for my beard. And I just like having a little extra in my beard throughout the day. It seems to like yep. last the whole day. Because again, like the great. whole reason we're doing any of these products is to get rid of the itch. Like if you don't use product, your, your beard's gonna itch. And like there's some real manly men out there that will not use any products in their beards, but just watch them in a month, six months, a year down the yes. road, after using shampoo in their beard, <laughs> like their beard's gonna become brittle, it's yeah, gonna it's, break, it's and gonna, it's gonna look like crap. Gonna and we're not terrible. after that. We're after like something that's gonna that's gonna last. Cause remember, again, once your hair grows out of your body, once it's hair, it's dead. So we're just in the process of maintaining it and keeping it as good as we can keep it for as long as we can keep yeah. it. So I like the point that you just made going back to the bottles quickly. Now, beard care products. We're just gonna, yes. I'm gonna turn the label on this one, but this, this is another product. It has a screw off tape. Yeah, with a little hole on the top. This one too. These leak. Don't love them. No, they leak like this crazy. This is kind of crap. So don't do this with your product. So again, classic culture lifestyle. Thank you for having an, a dropper. It makes sense. Distribution through the beard. I agree with Micah. I do a full blast yep. and I drip it. I kind of oh, drip I, it. Yeah, I kind of I kind of keep my hand underneath because I notice if I just drip in my beard, it'll it, it'll come out the bottom. So I I do like a drip and then I rub and then I do a, like the other wow. side I drip and then I do some here I had and then no I go idea. up and then I lather like not lather it's not gonna like <laughs> foam up. <laughs> <on you>. <laughs> but <laughs> I I then I then rub it in and honestly like for the first time of all the beard oils that I've tried, I've noticed the day after. I try um, and use the the classic culture oil. My beard feels incredible. Oh yes, I will. Like I've, I will vouch with that. Like I have not. I've I don't know loved. what you have. So we've got jojoba oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, and essential oils, and of course the scent. Like all the other oils, they're like sometimes we'll use like an olive oil in there, or grapeseed oil, and they feel fine. But like eventually, it just kind of 
it like feels, I don't know, it just fizzles out. Like yeah. I don't get like the conditioning, like the day after I would use this, I was like, this, this still feels great. I'm, like you have that protection on there without feeling too oily or greasy and nailed it. I, Loved it. I, I would totally 100% agree. And the other thing that I thought was interesting, they have the exact same ingredients on both oils. Mm -hmm. Just It's just preference of it's scent. It's the smell, yeah. That's all it is. And, and so, I, I totally agree. When I put it in, my, I was just like, after the first day, I was like, holy cow, this is awesome. So I, you know, and then I wore it again for like another six weeks, <laughs> you know, I, I just like, this is great. This was, this was my, I, I didn't even get to the beard balms until probably four or five weeks in. And we both like pulled each other in the opposite direction, like with like what to try when and first. Uh -huh. So Mike went for the oils, I went for the balms, and I was like, Dude, you should really try the balms. And he told me about things. So I, I was like, hey, just yeah. rub it in Once a little I did more. the palm, And then Mike was like, oh, the oils are so good. I'm like, ah, I'm not really into <laughs> oil. Unless I have a short beard. Like, I will say this. When I, when I traditionally have gone back to a shorter beard, I'll do, um, I'll do the oils. Do and the then oil. the balms because I need the hold and I need to carry it further. But yeah, my, my, beard, doesn't, my beard doesn't frizz quite as much yeah, as yours. It, so I, I, I just stick with the oils. That's, um, that's what I so love. overall, um, definitely recommend. I think both of us would get yeah. a, give a good solid recommendation to classic culture lifestyle beard care products. For sure, products. for sure. I um, would I would a hundred percent stand behind his oils mm -hmm. and his comb. Not so much of a fan of the beard balm, but again, it's not for me. I'm, yeah, I'm not a huge beard balm guy. I however and, really liked the beard balm, especially the sweet tobacco. Um, the, the citrus, again, smells like Fruit Loops, and if that's what you're into, like, you'll just have, like, an awesome bowl of cereal on your face all day. You can just, like, <laughs> num, num, num on it <laughs> throughout, throughout the num, day. Num, num. But either way, uh, a big shout out and thank you to yes. Greg. Fantastic He's at uh, Classic Culture Lifestyle. Um, and this has been Beard Buddies product review for today. Um, stay tuned. Write comments below if you have some products you'd like us to try. Yes, please. Let's get in contact. We can try them out for you. Also, but please, as always, uh, subscribe. Tell your friends. Yes, and also, also the links are below. Yeah. One more time. The links, links to are the below. products are below. So, again, this is uh, Jansen. This is Micah. And we're the Beard Buddies. Remember, save, save the, the beard. beard.